Hey guys, you're watching Zivon and Lonely. My name is AJ, and whoops, we are back on another episode of Zonocraft, the Let's Play Season 2. Uh, you might want to get out of there, doggy. Uh, I think he's a little bit injured. I think he fell. He fell down there, and I think he hurt himself. Um, yeah, why not? Let's let's get a baby, a baby doggy. <laughs> that's step one of today's episode. Excellent, and a little bit of XP. So that's dog number three. Haven't got the dog names yet. I'm recording this before the dog name episode has come out because um, I'm having a busy week. Everything's going a little bit. Um, everything's getting a little bit backed up, so I'm having to do some pre-recording stuff. Uh, something that someone did say though was my sword. Uh, it's the best sword you can get in the game, apparently. Um, I didn't know that. I wasn't aware. It's a shame that I can't take knockback off with the anvil and stuff like that. I would really like that to be off. I really don't like that because of skeletons. But from the sounds of things, from what you guys have said, it sounds like that I'm going to be able to kill pretty much everything in one hit anyway. Uh, so, uh, it should be good. I haven't really used it at all, though. Uh, we've got a little bit of, of damage on it, but not much at all. So, today, we are going to be working on prettifying up this area. Hopefully this whole area, or, or at least this channel. Uh, seeing how well our colour design that we've gone for uh, is going to work. And next episode, I really do need to do uh, storage. Because this chest is junk. This chest is like, I just packed out of stuff because I was just full. Um... And there's even some junk in this one, and I had to make another chest just to put some wood that I've collected. I've got three stacks of each, and then I put the rest in, in the other chests there. Um, but yeah, we're going to have to get some sort of storage room set up so we can actually <laughs> find our stuff a lot easier. So, let's get our wood. Our wood is going to be the first thing that we're going to do. Now, the trouble is, is I can't remember what exactly I said we were going to do. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. What? One, two, oh yeah, I got it. Yep, we got it all. Uh, I can't exactly remember what our colour palette was going to be. Now, I know it was spruce planks for the floor. Uh, spruce, uh, what are they called? Uh, slabs for the floor. Logs on the side. Right, dogs, you're going to have to get out of the way as a start. Let's put you down here. Come here. All of you. All of you come here. Sit. Sit. And sit, you little baby doggy. Okay, uh, I thought we had three. Wait a minute. I swear we had three dogs in the first place. Last episode, we got three. Where's the other one gone? Maybe he didn't make it. I don't know. I don't know. Let's hope that he's fine. He's just sitting down somewhere, maybe. Okay, so E3 is all over with. Now, I haven't spoken about E3 uh, at all, really. I've sort of kept away from E3. A lot of people have been talking about it. A lot of other YouTubers have been talking about it. And I didn't really want to get into it, because I know you guys have been watching a lot of videos that have E3 involved in it. But now it's over, I think we can sort of have a little bit of a chat about it. And, and I can give you my thoughts. A lot of you have been asking me what I thought of it. And overall, I thought it was actually not bad. I thought both consoles done well. Um, I'm going to talk mostly, mainly about PS4 and Xbox One. Um, the Nintendo One was okay, but I'm really not interested in Nintendo. I didn't really watch an awful lot about it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to sort of keep to talking about Xbox One and PS4. But I, th I think both consoles done well. I think last year, PlayStation really, really done a lot better. I don't think Xbox hit the nail on the head. I think they were talking about the wrong things um, and it just didn't it just didn't work for them, which is a shame. But this year they've done a lot better and I think, and now this is going to be a little bit controversial, a lot of you aren't going to like what I'm going to say, but I think Xbox actually just pipped it this year. I know, I know there's a lot of PlayStation fans, um, but yeah, I think Xbox just got it. I think some of the stuff that they've got coming out is really, really, really impressive. Um, I really like the look of a lot of things. Uh, Minecraft side of things. So, Let's talk about Minecraft briefly. Now, there wasn't anything really about Minecraft Xbox One or PS4 edition at A3. However, they did do a live stream a few days ago, which I was uh, watching. Uh, Notch was in the um, Skype as well. In, not in the Skype, in the stream as well, which was really fun. Um, got to chat to, to Notch a little bit and stuff. And I, there's nothing different. Uh, I can tell you guys there's nothing different between the new con between the new version uh, on the new consoles. Um, not that I was really expecting anything different. How cool is this looking? That's a nice colour, nice colour match there. Uh, this I wasn't really expecting anything different, but I was expecting, to be honest, I was expecting something. Um, the only thing that they really seemed to have changed was the draw distance, the render distance, which I'm actually pleased about. I'm glad that they've increased. It's very, it's greatly increased. Fairly increased. <laughs> it's been greatly increased, which I'm very, very impressed about. Uh, the the draw distances. Is actually quite substantial. 
Now, the reason why I'm really pleased about that is one in survival, so you can actually see further. We can see a fair way on 316 PS3 edition, but it would be nice to see further. On Xbox One edition, however, it is really, really far, really, really nice. And the most beneficial part of that for me is our city. Now, we need to make some, um, some oak stairs here. Um, yeah, it's the city. Because currently, we can see a fair way when we're doing the city, but... I would like to be able to see further. I'd like to be able to see buildings in the distance. Do you know what I mean? But so far, you can't... Sometimes you can't even see, like, the top of uh, some skyscrapers that we've built. So, I'm pleased about that. I think that's going to be cool. Uh, on the other side, I like that. This is this is turning out well. This is turning out well. Um, did I make a shovel? I didn't make a diamond shovel. That's the only thing we sort of didn't enchant. I must have forgotten about that. Can I get those blocks? Yeah, I did. Excellent. Um... What was I going to say? Yeah, so the draw distance. Very, very chuffed about that. Oh, oh, stone bricks. Have I got any smooth stone made up? Wait a minute. Have I got any smooth stone? Oh, I've got one stack. That's not going to be enough. Let's smelt some more of up. Uh, I haven't got enough coal in there. Uh, no, I want a full stack. I've got some more coal as well. Uh, two. Three. Oh, gold. Excellent. Have I got any iron in there? I do. Isn't that nice when you find stuff? <laughs> that you don't remember. Uh, coal. Coal. We get some coal. Let's just get a stack of it. And we'll divide the... Oops. We'll divide this up. There we go. Oh, 16. There. 16 in here. <laughs> there we go. And in there. My inventory is so full. This storage situation is getting really, really dire. Um, and let's make some of these stone bricks. We can do that without a crafting table, can't we? We can't get many out of it. Oh, we got a stack out of it. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Right. Uh, we're going to have this down the middle. I think either one or two layers. I'm not quite sure. Yep. Okay. Like down here. Um, right. Where was I? Where was I? Where was I? Uh, yeah, the draw distance. So that's going to be good for the city. That's going to be handy for the city. And the world size has been increased as well. We don't need to go that way at all, do we? Now we can block that off. We can always open it back up if we need to. Um, what was this head? Oh, my God. I keep forgetting what I'm talking about. Um... Yeah, draw distance. I can't remember. I can't remember. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, let's move on. So, what other games was I interested in? Uh, I really liked the... Um, oh, what is it called? Is it Diversity or something? Uh, is it Tom Clancy or something like that? That looked really cool. Uh, I, I sort of did like the look of that. Apart from, you're never going to play it how they show you people playing it on the trailers. That's the thing with E3, is they always show like a really cool way of playing it. Same with the Assassin's Creed. If you guys saw the new Assassin's Creed game, um, the way that they were playing it, the multiplayer, it was like really, really well laid out and really, really well organised. You know no one's going to play it like that. <laughs> I'm certainly not going to play it like that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's nice that they made the effort. Okay, so we've got that. And then if we have stairs there, and then... And then spruce, uh, yes, we've got spruce, spruce on the floor, and then birch along the top. Or what was it? What were, what were we gonna do? We could do oak logs, then spruce planks, then cobblestone slabs. I think that's that would be a good one. I think that's slightly different to what we previously said, but I think that'll still work. I think that'll still look good. Okay, it's also getting very, very dark in here as well. I'm going to put the walls down and then we'll worry about lighting later. Uh, I think it's still bright enough to keep most things away. I'm not 100% sure. We'll just have to sort of find out as we go, really. Okay, so this is going to go along here. Um, so, yeah, I was quite pleased with E3 in general. Um, what was on PlayStation that I really liked the look of? Um, I don't know, really. I I think both consoles done well in general. Oops, not there. Ooh. No, I don't like that there. It was, ne it was nearly a moment of genius, but it wasn't. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go along the top here. Uh, there. 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 Aha. Uh -huh. Careful. 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 There. Excellent. That's looking pretty cool. Can I get these stuff? Did I get that? Yeah, I can. Excellent. Excellent. I don't like it when I get blocks caught on there. They just annoy me. Okay, so that's going to go along there. And along this top part here. I'm not quite sure what we're going to put down on the floor there. We'll probably go with spruce. Spruce seems to be a really nice uh, floor colour. There we go. But it is looking a little bit dark. It's looking a little bit dark. We've used some very dark woods. So I think for the roof now, to brighten it up... Um, 
oh yeah, if we have cobblestone down the side and then birch planks, I think that will be a much better decision to go for. Yeah, a little bit of cobblestone here and there will, will make it look nice, I think. So go down here. I was going to do this strip first and see what it sort of ends up looking like. It might look great, it might not look all as fantastic as what I thought. Okay, so that's going to come along here. Whoops! Like this. Ah, it's so nice being able to use any block you want. You know, I was used to on the Survival Island only having one wood type. <laughs> it's a struggle. It's a struggle. Oh, 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 something I was thinking about. I don't think I've mentioned it to you guys yet. Uh, but, you know, I wanted an underground village. And when, I think it was on episode one, we came across the ravine in the snow biome, uh, which we first saw the mineshaft in, which is why we sort of po poked picked this location which was nearby because uh, we thought maybe the mine shaft would lead to here which it did luckily uh, but you know that ravine that's quite nearby it's a completely enclosed ravine you know there's no opening up to the surface it's like an underground ravine I was thinking about building our our village in there and I thought that would be an excellent idea that would be so cool and we can have like little bridges and little sidewalks down the side of the ravine and then have the buildings, the houses built into the side of the, the cave, into the, into the side of the ravine. And then we can even get some villagers like wandering around there. We'll have to make it really, really safe. Like have some proper guardrails and properly check and make sure that they can't get out anywhere and fall to their death. Because there's going to be a lot of lava about, I expect, in that ravine. I haven't really looked at it too closely. Um, and I really don't want to kill them. Oh, that's a really nice height, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And then birch slabs like this get some of these going I got these damn flies all over me okay so we've got two stacks of that hup, hup, I got hiccups as well I've had hiccups all day since I got up which is really quite frustrating okay yeah and then hopefully I'm hoping that this will sort of uh, light up the room a little bit have it being a lighter wood there was gonna be these glitches these lighting glitches at the edge of the cobblestone which I might like or I might not like. It doesn't look that bad. Actually, I sort of like the black. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. Sometimes the lighting glitches sort of work to your advantage. And sometimes they look really, really terrible. But this time, uh, I don't mind it so much. I don't mind it so much. Okay, so this is going to go along here. Boop. Boop. Yeah, see, that will continue on. We won't, that black line won't be there. Uh, this is because of the torches. It's sort of a dark spot. Um... Okay, 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 okay. Now, this part, we're going to have to sort of put an actual border on because I don't like how you can see the stairs through that. So maybe if we get that away, and that away, and that away, and then get some logs. Uh, like that. Like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That ends it off well. Now, the quartz side of things, we're going to do quartz for any openings. Um, like the enchantment table will have like a quartz a quartz door frame um, because it's just diff so difficult to get quartz I don't really want to be wasting time trying to get it okay so that's pretty cool that's pretty cool now we need to worry about the light we need to find out about the lighting we need to do that back wall as well yet yeah. um, but the lighting do we want glowstone in the roof or do we want redstone lamps and I think I'd prefer redstone lamps if anything um, add lava but I think for the beginning, at least, we should have redstone lamps. Now, this is an odd number. This is full wide, which is a little bit of a tr problem for us. Uh, because it means that we're going to have to like place two instead of one. Um, if we do it in the ceiling. Or we could do it along the edge here. We could do lighting along the edge here, which would work better. In fact, we could probably do that. Get away with doing that way. I don't really want it in the floor. Really. It's always beneficial to do lighting on the floor, because... It's then up at ground level. Um, but with slabs, I don't think it's going to work quite as well. Um, we could do the lava. We could do a little bit of lava, like on that wall there. I don't really want to do lava this early on down the cave, though. No, I think we're going to do it down down the, where the cobblestone is. We can put some lamps in there. So, to make a redstone lamp, just to double check, we need glowstone and redstone. So, let's get some redstone. And get some glowstone. Now we haven't got an awful lot. An awful lot at all really. But we'll make up a load of glowstone as much as we can. 16. And make these into redstone lamps. Six of them. We need more redstone. 
Oh my god, we go through so much resources on this series already. And it's only the beginning. <laughs> okay, so we've got those. And we're going to need some levers as well. I think we've got some sticks. I do. Some sticks. Uh, do we want levers or redstone torches? Levers, I think, would be better because I haven't got much redstone. So it'll be more beneficial for me to use up cobblestone. 12. We need 16 of them. 16. Boop. And... 13, 14, 15, 16. Excellent. Now... Where do we want to do this? Obviously, we're going to want them at the very end, maybe, or one off of it. No, right at the very end. So we'll have one there, and dig down one. And how many space spaced out at what distance? I tell you what, what we'll do is we'll take all the torches down, so it's it's actually as dark as it can be here, and we'll take them away in here. Why are torches in here? I'm not so sure. With lava right above it, they ain't going to be doing nothing. Okay, so there's that. Okay, it's nice and dark in here. It's not, it's not too bad, really, because of that lava there. Oh, it's so eerie, isn't it? Very, very nice. It's like having shaders, isn't it? Right, so that's going to be there. Let's get our levers and our redstone lamps. We'll have that there. Boop! Okay. And that there. Boop! Okay. Now, if we go to here... How many blocks is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, a gap of six in between. Maybe that should be a, a nice amount. If we have that there and that there, that should be enough. That should that should be a, a, enough light. Okay, there. Boop. Hup. And dip. Does it light enough up enough at the top? I think so. I think that's nice. Goes really well with the logs, doesn't it? These go really well with logs. I always seem to use them with logs when I'm doing like little lamps and stuff like that. One, two, three, four, five, six. There. Boop. And hup, hup, hup. Now, eventually, what I would like to do is hook these up to a day night sensor. Now, we don't actually have the day night sensor block in the game yet. Um, like the little slab looking thing, uh, but we can still do a day night sensor in Minecraft without it using uh, grass uh, Grass and water we can make a day night sensor So maybe I'll do that soon and we can get these to turn off and on depending on the day What I will be doing though is hooking up our farms like when I do um, Whoa, my pad went crazy uh, when we do actual farms not like this because we can use this with um Potatoes and carrots as well. We don't need to do it with just wheat. You can use potatoes or carrots with this. Uh, but I do actually want some some what would you call it? Just ordinary farms. You know what I mean? Just ordinary farms with a button, and it'll all sort of sweep to us with water. We will be doing some of that. Um, hopefully, doing it in a little bit of a different way. Hopefully, a bit of a unique way. But what I want to do is really set up things that automatically grow, like melons, pumpkins, and sugarcane, uh, up to a day-night sensor. So day and night automatically they'll just harvest but it would be beneficial if we had hoppers for that though um, hoppers would be really really useful because we could just collect up all the stuff and then we'd automatically gain things cactus as well for example oh on the on the subject of well I didn't want that to be there have I got a silk touch oh no I don't no these can break anyway can't they you can just break them yeah um, on the subject of farms I will be building all farms guys don't worry about it <laughs> hundreds and hundreds of comments saying um, build a Build a cactus farm. Build a, I don't know, a sugar cane farm. Yeah, I'll do it in time. This is episode 9. Give me a chance. Now, I don't like this lighting glitch. Now, these lighting glitches are caused because of the lava's lighting up this row. And then it's going darker. And I don't know why that's so dark over there. That's very, very strange. Um, that that annoys me a little bit. Do you know what I mean? It looks, it looks a bit funky. So, if I put lava above that. Would that solve the problem, do you think? If I put lava above there. Let's have a go. Let's see what it does. Okay, let's um, let's do this in a way that doesn't... Oh, no, we can't. All right, just a torch, then. If we put a torch just above it. Um, like this. This is tricky. This isn't easy at all. <laughs> okay, we go up here. Now, how many blocks we want to go? We need to go two blocks across. So, we'll go one, two... Put a torch there. And come back down here. No, that hasn't solved the problem. It solved that problem. But not that problem. But I need to take that away now. Because that looks really, really bad. <laughs> I don't like the look of that at all. Um, okay, maybe we need to get rid of these slabs. Oh, get the damn torch. Uh, fill this in as well. Um, 
maybe we need to try a different roof because oops I don't like I don't like this lighting glitch I need I like all the blocks being the same the same shade so boop, boop. let's um, <coughs> let's try something different I don't quite know what yet I'm trying to think um duh, 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 duh. If we did two blocks, it would be the same problem. I don't really want to put more lighting at the top there. It's a zombie pigman. He must have come through the portal. Whoa, hey pig. Um, hey pig, hey dog. Why did you teleport to me? Well, I'm stuck here. I'm stuck here. Maybe we need to do full blocks on the top here. Maybe that would be better. Okay, let me let me do a little bit of tinkering and I shall be right back. Alright, so I'm just doing the end here because we're running out of time. I just put it up a block and put planks there in the end. And I, it's still a little dark spots here, but it's it's gradual. It's a gradual drop like it is everywhere else. You're not going to get it all the same. Um, even, the, even the ground has, has darker spots, do you know what I mean? Uh, but it looks a lot better now. It's not like that sudden change of, uh, of shading. So it's a lot better. I think it's cool. Not 100% convinced about the cobblestone yet, but it might grow on me once we get some more in. Um, just putting this down here, just to try and end this front off. I don't quite know how we're going to sort of end this part off here. I was thinking putting the logs across the bottom here, and I've also widened the um, the dead drop as well. Uh, careful. Careful. Don't want to place this wrong. Don't want to place this wrong. No, I placed it wrong. Uh, where's my axe? There we go. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Still haven't killed anything with my sword. <laughs> Got the best sword in the game. Haven't used it. So, let's, uh, eh. Come on. Come on. There. There. No. God damn it. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Did I get you? How are we going to do this? Uh, if I go down here, maybe? Go down here. No. Got it. Nailed it. I'm fine. Okay, now we need to plant this back again properly. Get it. There we go. It's not easy doing sideways logs. Why can't I get you? Oh, you're hidden down somewhere where I can't get. Okay, and then along here. Obviously, we need to do inside there. We need to do inside there. We need to do the top behind that lava there, you know, on top of this glass here. There's a lot that we still sort of need to figure out, but I think we've done well this episode. Oh, I need to do another one. Eh. Get all the blocks. Boop. Boop. Boop, boop, boop. Careful. Uh, uh huh. Cobblestone goes along there. I think that looks okay. That doesn't look so bad. M uh, maybe we need to have something on this end here. Like if we had quartz all the way around it. Let's see what quartz looks like here, in fact. I've got a little bit of quartz just before we end off the episode. We've got eight quartz and 30. Is that all I've got, really? I thought I had a little bit more than that. Okay. <laughs> Let's make some more blocks, then. Um, quartz. 15 blocks. I don't think that's even enough to do that, is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yes, it is. Um, I would like pillars more, though. Um, yeah, I think that's we're going to have to leave it like that, really. Uh, I would like pillar blocks. If we had pillar blocks... Pillar blocks, pillar blocks, and then normal ones across the top. That'd be okay, but I don't think we actually have enough enough to do that with. Uh, two, two, one, two, four, six. You know what? Let's just try it. Let's see how far we can get. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Get these pillar ones. Oh my god, we're so full. Uh, uh. Uh. Why, why am I hitting my head on? Uh -huh. One. This isn't going to work, is it? Uh -huh. Nope. <laughs> this is so difficult. Oh, God, they're so easy to break. Um, If we go down here, will that work? Boop. Yes, that worked. Okay, careful. So easy to break. One. Two. No, come back here. Breaking everything. Not fun. Uh, two. And then this goes there, and <laughs> there, and this goes there, and there. Excellent. We are going to have enough. We're going to have enough, guys. And then along the top here, 
Ah, how are we going to end off that? Um, because if we put that there, it sort of goes into darkness, doesn't it? Okay, we'll figure that out later. We'll figure about that out later. Okay, and that goes along there. Okay, that doesn't look all that great. So, stairs, I think, would be the better way. Stairs will be the better way for that. Let's, uh, how much time we got? Oh my god, we've run so over time. We weren't too, we weren't doing too bad, but now I've gone way over time. Let's just make some quick stairs. Four. Is that all I can do? I can only do four. Well, we've got four, <laughs> four stairs. Um, now this should also wrap round with the, oh no, where are they? Where are my stairs? I can't pick them up. Bug some stuff away. Get him. Did I get him? I got him. Hup, hup, hup. And I'm getting hungry as well. Right, this should wrap round now with those stairs. Yeah, that looks better. One. No, it doesn't, does it? That doesn't look good at all. What if we done it out here if we take that away? Oh, no. Uh, there. One, two, three. Where's my fourth one? Where's my fourth one? Have I lost it again? Oh, it's there. Huh, gotcha. Four. That doesn't look so bad. And that wraps around nicely. Yeah, I think we can get away with that. And then if we had the cobblestone in front of that, maybe. I don't know. Something like that, maybe? Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. For now, though, we're going to leave it there. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And we shall see you in the next episode. Bye!